Hello there. I know what you're thinking. Who the hell is this guy with the dramatic B-roll footage obviously trying to show off his equipment and using this dramatic Morgan Freeman impersonation? Well, allow me to introduce myself. You can call me Doomcloud. Hey, that's me. Right there. That guy. Uh, uh, Alright, you get the joke. <laughs> Today I want to touch on something that I believe every up and coming artist and pretty much majority of artists in general should hear. Stop comparing yourself to other artists. Now, that's a very loaded statement. What I mean by it is that as an artist, you should not be comparing your own personal growth and development to that of other artists that are more, quote, established. This could be artists that you follow on social media platforms or even ones that you know personally that you feel may be more advanced than you. Something that began to plague me pretty much once I graduated high school and was thrown into the competitive environment of art school and freelance artwork was the constant thought that everyone was better or doing better than me. So here's a little background on me. I graduated college in 2017, but I started college in 2010. So yeah, I spent seven years in college and it wasn't because I was getting a master's or anything. It's, you know, it's something that <laughs> I'd have to go into a lot of detail as all the reasons why I was there so long. But I watched as many of my former classmates graduated and went on to better things. All the while I was working retail full time and being a full time student, while simultaneously trying to be a freelance artist, photographer and videographer. I was trying to do so many things and I felt I was getting a little good at so many things yet I also felt I wasn't where I wanted to be. I definitely wasn't where I wanted to be in life at all. Looking at the work of other artists also would make me feel that maybe what I was doing wasn't so great. Especially when I saw artists much younger than me whose career seemed to have taken off yet. Here I was working at an electronic store, still fantasizing about one day making a career for my artwork. Something you may hear all the time that very much so reigns true is that we are our own biggest critics. Our friends may love our work, there may be other people that believe what we make is amazing, but when we look at our own work through our own eyes, all we see are the imperfections or the things that we could have done better or just we don't see what other people see. For me at least, that's a problem and a mindset that I faced and honestly one that I still face from time to time. Even after graduating, it wasn't until two years later that I finally landed a career. I started applying for jobs a year prior to that. So for three years, I was trying to land interviews and the interviews I did get, I would never hear back or get much feedback on my portfolio work. Or they'd like my portfolio, but I didn't have the experience, which maybe I should talk about that in another video entirely. For the longest, I started to believe that what I went to school for, which was graphic design, wasn't cut out for me. I didn't fully give up, though. I took the time to consciously think about what it was I wanted to achieve and the type of work that I wanted to be hired for. For the past few years, I had been teaching myself how to animate motion graphics and spent time not only honing my animation skills, but my art style and the quality of my work in general for everything that I was trying to do. Sometimes we just need to take a step back. Stop thinking that we're on a specific timeline and that if we don't reach success by a certain point or a certain age, then we'll never be successful. It's easy to get stuck in this mindset that you're not good enough, that you see so many of these highly skilled people and that they seem so naturally talented and they reached instant success people that are the same age as you or even younger than you or live in some bigger city where it seems that there's so many more opportunities than what you have. I had many of these doubts floating around in my head, but I decided to work on personal projects to become more proficient in everything that I was trying to do. I started to realize that there's many people like me 
people that didn't take the traditional route in college or didn't finish in four years or maybe even got a very late start. Either way, it didn't matter. Honestly, I feel like you don't necessarily even need college to become a successful artist, but that will be an entirely different video in itself. What truly mattered was that I was going to focus on myself and trying to reach my goals. And I had to stop thinking that I needed to have success by a certain age in order to be successful. And finding out that there were famous or highly successful people that didn't even start doing art until well into their 30s or later was a huge confidence boost. You have to not lose hope in yourself and continue to try and perfect your craft. Continue to strive to be a better version of yourself. Currently, I can say that I have my bachelor's degree in art and I work for an advertisement agency as a digital designer. I landed my job based off of my portfolio work, doing things that I didn't even learn in school, but I was determined to be proficient at. Now, I'm not some amazing success story. I still work in nine to five. I'm not making six figures and I'm not making a living entirely off of my own artwork. But that is my end goal. I'm not done yet. I feel like my life has just recently begun in a great way. Who knows where I could end up several years from now if I continue to perfect my craft and reach for much higher goals. Though this video is specifically pertaining to artists that are trying to make it, much of what I'm speaking on can be applied to pretty much anyone. Anyone that has higher goals and isn't satisfied to where they are currently in life. Not everyone's lifestyle is the same and we all face many obstacles, but if you have a dream and you are determined to achieve it, you should take any time that you can, if you possibly can, to work on yourself and build yourself up. It can mean making some sacrifices, but in the end, you may see that it was all worth it. So stop comparing yourself to other artists. Don't doubt yourself. Keep making art. So, if you've made it through this entire video, I'd like to say thank you. If you'd like to see more in the future, do me a favor and hit like or comment or subscribe or all the above, or you don't have to do either. But if you like this content, it would help me out. Also, if you'd like to see any more of my work, check me out at DoomCloud on Instagram and DoomCloudCreative.com. Links in the description. See you guys next time.